Hey guys, I uh, just want to do uh, another quick video about uh, charging your electric car when you're renting. Um, I'm currently renting right now. I actually bought uh, a condo, uh, but it's not ready for another two months. Uh, so I'm actually staying with a friend right now uh, who is gracious enough to let me stay with him. Uh, so I have a, a bit of a unique way of setting up my, my electric car charger here. Uh, so I just wanted to detail that a little bit. Uh, in another video, in those two months, I'll be showing you uh, how I install my charger at a, a low-rise condo. Uh, but in the meantime, let me just show you what I got going on here. So I'm just currently uh, in the garage, and let's see if you can see my car. So there is my car, charging away. I just got back from uh, a bit of a trip, so it's uh, flashing one light, uh, so it's not charging very fast right now. Or sorry, it hasn't been charging for very long. So, it is plugged in with a charging cord. Sorry, I know it's a bit dark. Uh, I bought a couple of things. So the first thing is I bought uh, a separate EVSE. So it is a configurable one. Uh, it's a 16 amp, 240 volt. Uh, and I specifically asked for uh, an L620R uh, locking plug. Uh, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But right now, here's a quick look at it. It's kind of neat, actually. So, I don't know if you can see that. But uh, it's got some status lights, of course. But it's got a little screen on it. And hopefully, that will focus up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But basically, it says the amps, uh, the watts, the time it's been uh, charging. Uh, it says the temperature. Uh, amps, watts, volts, all that kind of info, which is really cool. So, um, actually, before I go away, so it's currently charging at 12 amps. Um, it is charging at 253 volts, so the volts here are pretty high. 12.1, 12.2 amps, uh, and 3.08, uh, 3.09 uh, kilowatts. Uh, so if you can see that one more time. So this one is pretty cool. Um, it has four different settings. So when you first turn it on, um, you can shake the unit within the first, I think it's uh, about a minute of being powered on. You can shake it and change the amperage. Um, so I had it customized to have a uh, 12 amp, 13 amp, 14 amp, and 16 amp. Uh, so I've got that four different settings. Um, because I'm uh, at a friend's place, I don't want to tax the, the circuitry. He's got 15 amp circuits, and you can use 80% of that. I'm using 12 amps. Uh, I have used it up to uh, 16 amps uh, on a 15 amp circuit, and it blew the circuit within five minutes. Uh, 14 amps seems to be fine as long as you're not using uh, anything else uh, on the same circuit. Um, so, the reason I'm using that cord is obviously it charges um, faster, so I'm getting about three kilowatts. The reason I'm using that one is because I am in a rental, like I mentioned, so um, I am currently using what's called a quick 220 system, and I'll show you that right now. So, that is the quick 220. So basically, the EVSE right there, is plugged into this quick 220. The quick 220 has two cords, as you can see, I think, right there. And sorry for the mess, but cords, one of them's plugged into that extension cord, and another one goes out. And you can't see it, but it goes around the corner of the house. So that, what it does is it takes two 110 volt sockets, and it combines it into a 220 volt um, power um, outlet. Um, and it works fantastic. I've, I've been using it for uh, about a year and a half um, in my last rental I was at, and it works great. So the caveat is the two different outlets that you're using have to be on different phases. Um, so the Quick 220 has a little amber light on it, when you plug it into two out-of-phase 
outlets, the light will turn on and that means it's working. So the reason I've got uh, it plugged into an extension cord and it wraps around the back of the house uh, is because it goes through a window <laughs> into the basement uh, where I'm currently staying and I'm using uh, that kind of power. Um, so the reason for that is the Quick 220 doesn't work on a GFCI plug, so a ground fault interrupt. Um, so almost every plug uh, on the outside of a house is GFCI. Uh, so if they get wet, um, the plug turns off, doesn't work. Uh, so obviously the Quick 220 can't use those plugs. So I'm using one of the plugs from inside the garage, and like I said, the extension cord around the back. Um, I'm pulling 12 amps from each of them, and I haven't had any issues. Uh, and it charges the car from empty to full in about six hours, um, which is pretty much twice as fast as uh, the 110 volt plug, which is uh, about 12 to 13 hours. So way, way, way better. Um, the Quick 220 was, uh, I think about $200, uh, and the EVSC that I bought that goes into it with the L620R plug uh, was about, I think another $150, $200. Um, I'll post the links down below as to where you can get them. Um, the EVSC I bought, I think on uh, AliExpress, uh, right from China, and uh, it was actually a great service. Um, they asked me what kind of amperage I needed, uh, and they programmed that right into uh, the EVSE. They asked me what kind of plug I wanted. They built that right on, and the quality is pretty great, actually. Uh, I know it's cheap. It's not any kind of Tesla plug, but it works great. Um, so regarding the Quick 220, um, I really, really recommend it. Um, if I was in a rental and I was stuck with 110 volt, which I was for a little while, 13 hours uh, to charge in the summer about 100 kilometers is just too much. Um, I am a real estate agent, so I go around, do a lot of driving, I come home, and I go back out again. Uh, that 13 hours wouldn't allow me to charge up at all. Um, it would be about three or four, five kilometers per hour. So if I was getting home from a little bit of work, charge up for two or three hours and have to go back out again, I gained maybe five or 10 kilometers. Um, whereas this, I'm gaining uh, obviously a little bit more than twice that. So 10, 15 kilometers per hour. Uh, it works fantastic. Um, I can't really say too much about it. Otherwise, I mean, I've used it uh, outdoors for about nine months and I used it indoors uh, for the rest of that time. Works great. I've had snow on it. I know it's supposed to be indoor use only, but there's snow on it, rain on it, hasn't faulted me, still works great. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, and if you have any questions about the Quick 220, charging a volt while you're renting, uh, let me know. Um, hit a like, hit subscribe, and I'll, I'll keep pumping out videos. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.